let's shift our focus to working on a GUI for a change and get away from the terminal. And finally, log into the Crypto Command Center web application. I have the IP address and I'm going to connect over 8181 in my browser. You'll get a message for the self signed certificate if you want to proceed or not. It's the one that we created during the setup. By the way, you can uh, have your own private CA in your organization, your own PKI or third party trusted CA, uh, sign your own certificate request that CCC can then trust and import to its own key store. So that is supported. There's extra steps you can check in the manual, but for our demo, I'm not going to do that right now. So when you get prompt to the screen, you're going to log in with the default admin password. So it's admin, capital, all capital password. And this is the master power level uh, user. You'll have to change your password for the first time. And log in. And here we are, we're finally presented with the GUI. And you'll see it jumps us right to the activation screen for the root of trust. So until now, we haven't really uh, done anything on the root of trust besides set up a partition and set up a connection, but CCC's configuration install didn't do anything with it. The activation portion where we're gonna make those keys on the root of trust that we talked about, right, in module two, this is the time to do it. And you'll see it will warn us, right, you can't really do anything in the product until then, everything is gonna be grayed out and so on. So you're more or less locked out of doing anything until we get that root of trust enabled.